Good morning, everybody. You're watching uh, Two Guys Fixing the World. Uh, Mark Davis Hard and Ryan Jones with me. Uh, New Zealand Pri the New Zealand Prime Minister takes a huge pay cut while Trudeau approves MPs' pay raises. It's kind of funny that. Um, now, the uh, ordinarily this wouldn't make the uh, headlines, but um, and but of course here we are in the middle of a, a crisis, um, and you know I I, I probably wouldn't. Uh, really think too much about it yeah it is a bit tacky but what's even tackier is that um, MPs so this is the federal MPs have agreed to give their pay raises to charity for this year <laughs> they're still gonna have it for uh, upcoming years um, and that you know again it's just more money that uh, but you know it's, it just seemed just seemed a little tacky there just a um, why not just freeze your yeah. pay we're not asking to take a pay cut right yeah <laughs> Yeah, so here's the thing is it, it goes to show you that we we really lambasted the uh, the provincial government, I think, uh, as a number of shows back, where they talk about, hey, we're we're going to come in and we're going to give ourselves an immediate pay raise and then we're going to freeze things. Yeah, we're gonna for, freeze for minimum so wage, nobody... for the lowest earners, right? Yes, but that, yeah. that's right. So they, they went and froze it after they gave themselves a raise, right? Is is really the? I mean, there's a lot more details like you were just wait, but that's the, that's the crux of the matter. And as you can see, it doesn't really matter if it's the liberals or the conservatives. Politicians just sort of like to vote and say, "Hey, well, we'd like more money. Sure, give us more money." Hey, people are going to be outraged by us getting more money because they already think we don't do anything. Let's just sneak this in while we're making some other legislation. See, it all just kind of ties together, right? Oh. So. And as you can see here, we got other other prime ministers and other jurisdictions around the world that are, are saying, "Hey, you know what? I I don't need four hundred thousand dollars a year, or three hundred fifty thousand, or two hundred thousand dollars a year to run the country." Well, while, while the people who elected me are are yeah. suffering, or either stressed, or sick, or some in some cases dying, um, oh. I don't need to take this pay cut. <laughs> Here, go buy masks. Go buy. Yeah, you know, and else. it's not Maybe that we'll... the, it's not that the amount of it is. I mean, uh, I'm not sure how much. I haven't didn't look to see, but it could be as much as uh, twenty grand each or ten grand each a year. And don't forget, they're going to be getting it next year, along with next year's pay raise as well. Um, yep. And it's not really that. It's the tackiness of while people are losing their jobs, while the economy yeah. is tanking, and yeah, it's, it's not the government's fault directly. We can argue. They could have done a hell of a lot to mitigate this years and years and years ago. Um, horrible system that we're in and all that. But it's the it's the optics of it, right? Look how we yeah. they they deserve their pay raise, even though they don't need it. And it's not like they're uh, spending money on um, on travel, right? They get yeah. expenses, but all expenses paid free. Um, anyhow, <laughs> it was a bit yeah. Now, and then you can uh, have like a senatorial hearing about um, expenses and uh, go to forced arbitration, which are all topics for another show. Yep, for sure. So. Now, this is the back door to the Manitoba legislature. Now, if you hit the subscribe button now, hit the notification bell, then you won't be surprised when they try to stick something up your back door.